there's an evil eye coming watching you. You know, so mind that can have you in captivity. You can't take your name everywhere you go. I can't say, don't you touch my name. People mess your name up out there, won't they? Yes. People got hearts, right? Yes. But you have the power over everything that they Wherever your name is in prison, where people's got you in prison, they got you in prison. And they got you in prison because they thinking evil things about you and they planning evil things. We said through and by the blood of the Lamb, go into that evil mind. I didn't speak to her. I said, wherever evil mind is. So of all these people in here, it could be ten people have an evil mind against me. I said, the blood of Jesus, wash my name out of that evil mind in the name of Jesus. I said, wash my name out of that evil mind. That evil eye that's been monitoring us and watching us in the name of Monitoring our children in the name of Jesus. Monitoring my house in the name of Jesus. I said, blood of Jesus, wash my, the image of my home, my life, out of their eyes in the name of Jesus. That evil heart that has entrapped me, I said, do it by the blood of the Lamb today. I said, wash it out. Come on, somebody. Y'all got to wash it out. See, you let it in there. You knew those people didn't like you. You knew they were talking about you. Come on now. You know they were saying ugly things about you. You didn't say anything. Well, I'm saying go into that evil mind. I don't care how many evil mind it is. Blood of Jesus, go into that evil mind. Wash out my name, God. Bring my name out, God. Bring it out. Bless God. Whoever got me in their heart and they holding me in captivity with unforgiveness, with hatred, and with anger. I said the blood of Jesus go inside there today and wash it out in the name of Jesus. And God will blood will wash your name out. It's happened for me over and over and over and over. I said I won't let them keep it. I said that evil eye that's watching my grandson, watching that little bitty girl, they want to molest her. They doing anything. I said blood of Jesus go inside of that evil eye and wash that vision out of that eye. I said, wash the vision out of that eye in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I said, no, I ain't gonna let them do that to my grandboy. I said, that to fire God. See, let me give you scriptures that back up. The word of God says, and um, it's the first king, first king one through it's a, Second king, second king. There were some people, there, there was a king that was sent somebody to Bezalel, the god of Ephraim. Now, for the sake of the Bible, believe the Bible. If you don't want to believe me, go read the Bible and get built up in the word of God. He said they were, and so the king sent somebody to Bezalel, the god of Ephraim, to see if they're going to get well. Come on, somebody. So this is what happened there. Well, the, God said, go back and tell them. Uh, is it not a God in Ephraim that you going to go there in Israel? I mean, and so a lot of people use occulted powers because why? They don't know how to use the power of God. Everybody's on the way to any occult power right now. Whoever been to an occult power watching to do something about me or about you, I said let fire come down and from heaven and consume. The word said and fire came down from heaven and consumed them. Everybody's using occulted power. Everybody tried to use a roadblock. Come on, somebody. I I said that fire come down. That's in Second Kings, uh, First Second Kings, chapter one. Just read it what it said. The word said that fire came down. Whoever trying to what blackmail me or try to do evil to take my blessing, I said that what fire come down and consume. I said that the fire of God come down and consume. Whoever's blocking my destiny, whoever blocking your destiny in here today, you supposed to be going somewhere. I said God, guess what? I said that fire come down and consume. I said that fire come down and consume. See, somebody could be blocking your blessing, but if the fire of God came down in the word of God, I believe the word of God. He said, and that fire came come down and consume. I said, let the fire come down and consume. Let fire come down and consume them, God. Lord, make their way uh, 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 dark and slippery, God. In Psalm 35, says the world, they, they shall be uh, dark and slippery. Let the angels persecute them and chase them today. Whoever's after you, whoever's after me, let the what? The angels go forth and chase and persecute them. I believe this is going to help you. See, see, listen here. I know you're a quiet person, but you're going to have to get up and you're going to have to talk. You're going to have to speak to the east, west, north, and south. See, quietness ain't going to get it. Having a good heart, people say, oh, she got a good heart. When a good heart never hurt, you're going to have to get up and take another stand. Come on, y'all. You go back. Your mother may not can do it, but you can get up and say, I'm going to fight that devil. You're not going to destroy my family. You won't destroy my daddy, and you won't destroy my family. I speak to every demonic force that try to give them an appetite of life that is not right. 
I said the blood of Jesus will destroy that appetite. The blood of Jesus will wash it out of their mouth. I said in the name of Jesus Christ and that whoever trying to lure them back into sin, I said let the fire of God come down and burn today in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You give me on some people that's ready. You got to get up on it. I know, I know you're quiet. I can tell you that. But uh, in order to win, you're going to have to fight. In order to what? Win. My clock said over here, this black clock said over here, said it's left and hurt. So that's when I quit. I know how to, I'll wait time. I don't care what country I'm in. Man, Dr. Martin. She traveled me most to Africa. I've been over Africa over 34 times doing what I do here. Been to India, London, Holland. God sent me back here. And Dr. Marsh Noah, if I said you're supposed to start on time, you're going to start on time. Because if we said uh, from 8.30 to 11.30, then the Holy Ghost is here. If I'm going to run it down to some other time, Holy Ghost ain't there. He ain't going to sit there. Well, I know they got, they, they, they slow today. The Holy Ghost don't play like that. He comes when we set the time. What I do here, God gave me my practice out of the country. As we close, the last prayer, give me the minute. Somebody is in here. House full of It's called bail. It's called what? Bail. Somebody has put an evil bail over you. They put a what? Bail. And that evil bail caused people not to see you as you could. I think that's, well, man, I don't know. Jealousy will make people put bails over you. Because they don't want you to be seen. They don't want you to go forward. Glory to God. They want to hold you back. Or they can be jealous, you know. They like the same man you like. And so they're going to put a veil over you so the man can't see you. They can see them. Come on, somebody. I'm about to close out right now. I'm about to close out. Come on. And so this veil, and sometimes you got so many veils on. And guess what? If, if this veil is over you, even if you talk, they can't understand. You ever met people, what are they talking about? Because it's a veil over the people. I always tell them, I would teach y'all a lot of spiritual stuff, but to take you there sometime, you say, I don't think that's possible. My God. I say, let the fire of God burn every veil that's been thrown over every person that's in this place today. I said, let the fire of God burn. That veil that's over every person right over right here. That veil that makes them insignificant. Make people not be able to understand them. Make people not be able to see them. They put them over our children. That veil that's been over our children. It looks like they are always passed over. Look like they can never see me. I know that I'm okay, but it looks like they keep bypassing me. Let the veil be burned today. I said, let the but the burn, the veil shall burn today. That veil shall be burned in the name of Jesus. I they, I can't get promoted. I can't go higher because that veil. I said, let the fire burn that veil. Every veil that's been put on me, every veil been put on each one of you. I call on the fire God. I call on the fire God. I thank the Lord that the fire God shall burn that veil.